the setter. Are you a setter? Do you want to be a setter? This video is for you. Today we're gonna to talk about some tips on setting and how to know if setting is really for you. I'm Coach Coco and I love volleyball. I have all the tips, tricks, hacks, and everything you need to know about volleyball. Now, I just wanna mention, we are gonna be using some video clips today, and we're gonna use the Copyright Act of 1976, which indicates that we can use videos for educational purposes and commentary. All right, let's get right into it. Now I'm sure you know what a setter is, but do you know the setter's role? Setter's main job is to navigate the ball throughout the court to the attackers. Setter's main priority is the second ball and controlling the offense of the team. It's important to note that when you are the setter, you do control the speed of the offense. You also need to keep your eyes peeled. That means that keeping your eyes peeled is successful and a way to be successful as a setter. You need to know what's going on with your players. How do you set? When do you set? And who do you set? You learn this by being observant. You not only have to have a specific skill of setting, but you also need to be a pretty strong passer and be able to switch through these skills. And that's is really essential, really, to being a strong offensive player and offensive setter. I always promote that I would love to have more well-rounded players, the setter especially so. We need our setters to be leaders. As a setter, it is not uncommon for you to be the co-captain or the captain of the team. This is because the setter is similarly compared to the quarterback, like a football player, the quarterback of a team. The setter is somebody that we look to for leadership. What's going on? I'm gonna ask the setter. You need to have strong communication, be coachable, an active listener, analytical, a problem solver, kind and caring, and especially helpful. All in all, it's important to be coachable. That means be ready for feedback. Also, be ready to listen to your teammates and sometimes be the representative for them too. Now I'm telling you, a smart volleyball player is a good volleyball player, so make sure you know how to call plays. In this clip, you're gonna see me call a play to my player by asking her what she wants. As you can see, I'm indicating, do you want a four? This is something that I used because I knew she was ready. Prediction. Have you ever heard of Spidey Sense? Setters must have a pretty good way of identifying what is going to happen and the outcome before it does. How do you learn that? You learn that by watching people. You have to watch your players. You have to watch other players. You should always be watching. Remember to keep your eyes peeled. So let's think of terms of scenario. Let's say you have a good pass. You're in the setter zone. You get a good set. The attacker that you're setting it to sees it. There's a block present, but they're in position and you get a good attack. Thinking in chronological order or thinking in ways that where you're seeing the specifics of a situation can be helpful. Let's think about another scenario. Let's say you have a good pass. You're in your area. You get a good set, but you set it to somebody who's not ready. There's a, block uh, there's a block present, however, they get into position, but remember, they're not ready. What does this mean? It's probably going to be a poor attack. That's why it's important for you as a setter to set it to those who are ready and know what's going on on the other team. But Coco, what do I do? It's happening so fast. Okay, let's redo it. You have a good pass. You're in the setter zone. You have a good set. The setter, you see both of your attackers. One attacker is not ready. But another one is, there's a block present, that attacker that's ready gets into position and we still have a good attack. You need to make sure that you have an eye on your hitters and what's going on. A good pass with the setter in, a, in your setter zone, in a good set, attacker one and attacker two, let's say they're both being blocked. But the, you see the donut's open in the middle, you see it. What could you do? You could set or dump it. This is thinking ahead of the game. This is strategy. Now. 
let's say you have a port pass and the pass is in the back row really far away from you and you know if you go and get it it's still going to be a really really bad set what could you do call for help thinking in terms of strategy is effective as a setter Now I talk about agility a lot, but you know when you call for help, you know you need to know when you need to pass the ball instead of setting it. You need to know when you need to set or dump the ball instead of trying to set it to someone. You need to be able to make those calls quickly and effectively. You need to practice those skills first. Learn those foundational skills, that passing, that setting, that serving, that hitting, that serve, receive, and be observant. Watch the other team to see what's going on. Observe their tendency and use it to your advantage. People rarely tend to change. So if somebody's hitting an angle, they might hit an angle again. But also know your choices. You could set to your hitters, which is on the top level of your choices. Let's say those aren't available. Then you can set back row or you can set or attack. Let's say that's not available. Then you can set or dump or roll shot. Let's say that's not available. Then you can deep push or angle push. Let's say that's not available. Then you can tip. You can use these in any order that you want to. This is just example that I use in my mind of the options that I have as a setter, but figuring out a way or system for yourself could be helpful for you so you can make those split, season, those split second decisions and you don't feel like you have to panic because you have a list of options available. With everything, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you in your setting journey. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.